sepsis is a life-threatening illness caused by a severe infection spreading through the blood, and it may be complicated by multiple organ failures. Sepsis is one of the most important causes of maternal illness and death. How to Diagnose and Definitions A woman can have sepsis when she is still pregnant or after delivery. If a woman appears not looking well, in poor general condition and feeling weak, you should do the following. Measure blood pressure, pulse, temperature, respiratory rate, and level of consciousness. She has sepsis if there is a reasonable suspicion of infection and two of the following. Systolic blood pressure below 100 millimeter mercury. Respiratory rate of 22 or above. Any altered state of consciousness. She has septic shock if she presents with the following despite adequate fluid resuscitation. Systolic blood pressure below 90 millimeter mercury or urine output below 30 milliliters per hour. Pulse 110 beats per minute or more. Other symptoms and signs of shock include pale skin, sweatiness or cold clammy skin, rapid breathing, any altered state of consciousness, for example, drowsiness. How to manage. A woman with sepsis needs urgent treatment. First, she must be stabilized. Call for help. Then go through the A, B, C, and D. A. Airway. Position so airway is free. B. Breathing. If gasping or absent, ventilate with bag and mask. C. Circulation. Insert two IV cannulas. Give two liters of normal saline or Ringer's lactate intravenously in the first hour. Insert a urine catheter to monitor fluid in and output. D. Drugs. Give antibiotics, for example, ampicillin, two grams every six hours. Gentamicin, 240 milligrams intravenously every 24 hours. Metronidazole, 500 mg intravenously every 8 hours. If in a malaria risk area, treat according to local guidelines. Often preferred is artesanate, intravenously or intramuscularly. In some places, quinine intravenously. See drug list for details. Chloramphenicol should be avoided for pregnant and lactating women. Continue antibiotics for 48 hours after the woman is fever-free. Following management. Assess vital signs every half hour until stabilized. If in a peripheral facility, refer to a higher level of care, if possible, when stable. Intravenous fluid treatment is important. Two to six liters of normal saline or Ringer's lactate may be necessary over the next 12 hours to maintain a blood pressure of at least 90 mm mercury systolic and a urine production on average above 50 milliliters per hour. Fluid in and output should be measured. In sepsis, it should be calculated every eight hours. In septic shock, it should be calculated each hour. The origin of the infection should be identified for further planning of treatment. Infections causing sepsis are usually bacterial and can have their origin in many places. Think of the six W's, womb, weaning, wind, water, wound, wings. Womb. Consider an infection in the uterus until proven otherwise, and if it is tender, there is lower abdominal pain and foul-smelling vaginal discharge. Before delivery, the infection is called chorioamnionitis. Treat with intravenous combination antibiotics. Pregnancy should be terminated within 12 hours. After delivery, the infection is called endometritis. 
treat with intravenous combination antibiotics. If no effect of antibiotics after 24 hours, the patient should be sent to a higher-level facility for gentle evacuation of the uterus by gentle curettage. If there's still no improvement after another 24 hours, laparotomy is needed. Weaning. An infection in the breast can be mastitis or an abscess. At mastitis, the breasts must be emptied by the baby sucking effectively or express milk and give it to the baby or discard the milk. Dicloxacillin should be added, one gram intravenously every six hours. If there is an abscess, surgical drainage is needed. Wind. At respiratory distress, consider pneumonia that is treated with, for example, penicillin. Pulmonary tuberculosis is another cause of infections in the lungs. At respiratory distress, always think of preeclampsia and anemia as differential diagnosis. Keep a close eye on the bleeding. Water. Suspect urinary tract infection if unclear or bloody urine, discomfort when passing urine, or pain over the kidneys. Urosepsis is usually treated with ampicillin and gentamicin. Wound. A wound is infected if there's discharge and if the surrounding skin is red. Examine the legs and arms for cellulitis due to infect drip site. At a wound infection, Add dicloxacillin, one gram intravenously every six hours. If no improvement, refer for surgical revision. Wings. If you're in a malaria risk area, you should first perform a malaria test if available. If unavailable, treat with anti-malarial drugs. Make sure all patients at your facility are protected by impregnated bed nets. Also consider appendicitis, right lower quadrant pain with rebound tenderness, though in the pregnant woman the appendix is located higher, and cholecystitis, right upper quadrant pain with rebound tenderness. If there is neck stiffness, the patient may have meningitis. After stabilization and initiation of intravenous antibiotics, send the woman to a referral health facility for further management. HIV is common among pregnant women and can complicate the assessment of maternal sepsis. Ensure that the HIV status of all women is known and that appropriate antiretroviral therapy protocols are followed.